Let's go. Okay. All right. Um, hi there, folks. It's Amy Butchko, and I'm back. Um, and I have got my Vitamix uh, container and my Vitamix blender because what I'm going to do next is go ahead and get all the supplements together. And what I do is I actually put my supplements in pretty much with their coating. So we buy all really good supplements that have you know fairly pure pr coatings. So we just throw them right into the food. And in this case, I'm going to start with my, with my recipe, and I've got it printed out from the website with all of my amounts that I need. And so I know the, this one, this is a, a beta carotene, which is vitamin A, and I need three of these, and they're just going to go right into the blender. Um, the next thing that I need is B-complex, and I'm going to need ten of those. Do that. Two. And I'm just going to walk you through everything I do so you can see exactly how long it takes. Um, we're going to need cod liver oil, and for this one, we actually are going to need two cups. So I think I'm going to probably go through more than one of these bottles because we started this one last time. Oh, oh, we're really close. So I got one and three quarter cups so far, so we're just going to open up this guy. Alright, so we get two cups of the pet cod liver oil, and we'll save the rest for next time. Alright, next thing I need is vitamin D, and we use um, the liquid drops, and this is 2,000 IUs per drop, so I'm going to need only three drops because I need 6,000 I use total, so not much. You can see one of those could last quite a while. All right, next we're going to go to kelp, and this is what we buy, how we buy our kelp. We just buy it in granules, and it looks like of the kelp, I just need three teaspoons of that. One of these containers of kelp usually lasts us a couple batches. It feels like there's nothing in here, but it's it's just quite light, um, the seaweed is. Okay, next thing I need is taurine, and I actually am going to need quite a bit of taurine. Um, I need a total of two-thirds of a cup before I measure, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. All right, so we didn't have much left in this bottle but we will go ahead and open this one. Hopefully I can get this open. I order these taurine bottles off of Amazon and I get them um, like three at a time. It's not very expensive, but you do want to get the um, you do want to get the powder, not the capsules, because you just have to use so much of it. And with a with cat food, it's that taurine that really helps their their heart. And we do put in actual chicken hearts, which contain some taurine, but it's just it's just not enough. So if you are making your own cat food, um, definitely do your research and find out how much taurine your cat is going to need. So there's two-thirds of a cup of taurine, and it looks like we're going to have enough out of this Amazon order, so next time we probably won't need more taurine. All right. All right, what's next? Um, next we have acidophilus, and we also buy this in a powdered form. This one, for the amount that we're doing, I'll need a quarter of a cup, and it's a dry measure also, so there we go. It looks like this one... Uh, we're going to probably need a little bit more for next time. Okay, next. Um, I add um, this Udo's Essentials is on my, my recipe list, but I don't add it to this mixture because it makes it very thick when blending. So um, I will actually add this to the cat food mixture once the chicken is ground and all of the supplements are ready to go, and I'll just mix that all in together. So I'm not adding this right now. I will be adding some vitamin E, and for here I need 63 of these. So bear with me while I count. 
actually, and this is CoQ10. One moment, please. This is vitamin E. 63 of these guys. Seven, eight, forty. Sixty. All right, sixty three of those go in. <clears throat> These we get from um, Vitacost. And the CoQ10, I need 35. There went one. we are on that and then the last things well there's two things I'm going to add to this mixture one is chicken broth and the other is a dozen eggs and the whole food for happy cats book does call for um, raw yolks and cooked whites I however use an entirely raw egg and the reason that I do this and I feel comfortable with it is I get my eggs from a farm that I am absolutely rock solid sure has great sanitary practices and if you're not rock solid sure on your farm then you should probably go ahead and cook your whites um, but since we are I will go ahead and just put my 12 eggs right into the blender raw. Um, so far, our cats have absolutely loved it this way. We've done it this way for now. What, how long we have this a year? Yeah. So we are well into this procedure. And it was the first time that we did cook the whites. And then we thought to ourselves, you know, we eat these raw sometimes. So why would it be harmful to the cats? All right. So bear with me. Um, one of the things that will have to happen while we're doing some of the other prep is all of the shells, the, the, the gelatin um, that's in the, um, the uh, capsules here is going to have to kind of melt and decompose. Um, one of the things I will also do is, are we saying, do these have some, some eggshell go into this recipe? I think it does. Yeah, so I'll actually take these shells and bake them um, for just a few minutes just to get them kind of crunchy and then I'll grind these up in here as well, but it's only just a few shells and you can consult with the recipe um, to, uh, to take care of that. So there's that and then I'm going to add a little bit of my broth. I'm not going to add all of it because it won't fit, but um, this should be enough to liquefy this mixture and start getting my, um, my supplements nice and soft so that they're completely distributed and then when I pour it over the cat food mixture with the chicken, everything will mix really easily. So that's that. Now you know how we go ahead and handle our supplement mixture. I can go ahead and show you how my Vitamix works so you can see if you don't have one of these, highly recommend. We, um, we do use this for both our cat food and our people food, and um, both highly recommend for both. And I'm not plugged in. Am I? Can you plug me in? My plug fell out. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to give that cat food mixture some time and I will just keep blending it sort of throughout the, the time that we're working on grinding the meat and doing our other tasks and eventually it will all become a nice soft um, liquefied mixture. So that's it on supplementation for your cat food. Thanks for watching. Um, this has been another cat food video from Wellness Works. I'm Amy Butchko. Thanks for watching.